Well, good morning. Thank you so much for watching. This is the Wednesday morning devotional. I'm Jesse. God bless you. Let's start off in prayer. Dear Lord, I thank you for this morning. I thank you for all that you've blessed us with. I thank you, Lord, for your voice that speaks to our hearts, that teaches us, that leads us, that guides us, and that transforms us from glory to glory as we hear your voice. And Lord, I pray that you would speak to each person watching this morning, that you would encourage, uplift, in Jesus' mighty name, amen. Amen. Well, I name this devotional A True Friend, and I want to read from Proverbs chapter 27, and verse 5 and 6, and in it it says, Better is open rebuke than love that is concealed. And in verse 6, Faithful are the wounds of a friend, but deceitful are the kisses of an enemy. And I was thinking of this verse came to my mind because over the past few weeks, I've uh, come across maybe th- three separate interviews with different people that are in in some uh, different situations, but they're all public figures in some way. And I was watching these interviews, and there was just uh, there was a lot of defenses, uh, defensiveness about certain issues and and so forth, and just watching the interactions. And then today, this this verse came into my heart uh, that faithful are are the wounds of a, a friend. Faithful are the wounds of a friend. And the truth is, is that Jesus has called us a friend. He says, I no longer call you service, servants. This is in John chapter 15 and verse 15. But I call you friends because a servant doesn't... Uh, uh, we don't tell our servants our plans. And so Jesus is telling you, I'm calling you friends. I've called you friends because I'm going to tell you some things, tell you some plans, tell you some of what lies ahead. And so we have, we don't always get the full picture, but God leads us and guides us by his word. And he calls us a friend. But there's something in this Proverbs that speaks to a true friend. You know, another passage in Proverbs says, As iron sharpens iron, so does one man sharpen another. And the idea with that sharpening is that there's some conflict there, or there's some friction there that's sharpening. That's sharpening. And the truth is, a friend is someone who's close to us. A a true friend is someone who, who will tell us those things that we need to know but that maybe we don't want to hear. A friend is someone who will tell us the things that we need to know, even though it might not be something that we want to hear. And so, you know, you can have people around you who just, uh, who are fun to be around, but a true friend will help you, won't, won't let you go down a bad road, or will try to, to speak into a situation if, if, uh, you're heading down a path that's not right, or, or uh, you're headed for a bad scenario or a bad situation, or they're trying they're trying to help you be, if they can, they'll speak a word into your life to maybe uh, realign you in a way, or even correct you in a way if if you're acting um, out of the wrong heart or the wrong emotion, or you there's something that you're missing in your sight. And often uh, we can we can be defensive about correction or about someone telling us we're doing something wrong. And a lot of times it's the the, the weight or the of that relationship, right? If we trust the person who's speaking into our life and saying, you know, Jesse, you got that that's a little off. You know what you said there, or what you did in that scenario. You need to rethink that. You need to rethink the way you made that decision. Or the way that you responded in that in that area, right? We we if we have a friend who we trust, then we say, oh yeah, that you know I'll have to think about that. Even though maybe we don't like to hear that there we didn't handle a situation the best way, or that our thought process isn't the isn't necessarily correct in that uh, in that scenario in that situation. But the truth is, none of us are perfect. We all have scenarios and situations where maybe we respond, don't respond as well as we could have, or we, we haven't done 
or, or we're missing a piece of the picture that could uh, help us to act better in love. And the truth is, is the Spirit of God, he said, uh, Jesus said, I'll never leave you nor forsake, forsake you. And he gave us his Spirit, and the Spirit of God is a friend to us. And he's speaking to our hearts. And, he can, and his conviction can bring us to a place of realization. If we allow it, it'll bring us to a realization that we didn't handle a situation maybe the correct way or that we need to go and even apologize. Shocking <laughs> that, we have to, that we need to apologize in a certain area or a certain situation or that our whole mindset that caused us to react a certain way uh, was, was out of line or, or you know, not, not co correctly aligned. And that, but that's the true friend of the Spirit of God, and we shouldn't just brush off those things or disconnect, right? Because in, in the world, when there, you, you can see people who have friends, and then friends, maybe that friend is a true friend and is trying to help that person. But if they don't like what they're saying, then they can cut them off. And, and the truth is, is that maybe we can do that with the Holy Spirit sometimes. We don't like... The conviction that the Holy Spirit is bringing or we're not willing to change in that moment or we can't bear to we can't bear to see that we're wrong right we can't uh, we don't have the maturity to to handle the fact that maybe we weren't right in a situation rather than being humbled and saying you know what I, I messed that up we can we can pull push away the Holy Spirit Who's, all, who's maybe it hurts, right? But, but it's a faithful wound of a friend. It's that iron sharpening iron. That, that there's friction there that is sharpening us into a finer point, transforming us from glory to glory, to a greater glory, and avenging a mistake maybe that we made. And so maybe this is a little tougher of, of a message, but the question that, that I want us to ponder in our own hearts is... Am I open to the Holy Spirit correcting me, realigning me in an area, or am I tuning that out? And in the same way, am I listening to the Holy Spirit speaking to friends? Or maybe in the past I ha there, there was a disagreement that rose from a friend, or maybe they were just trying to help. But faithful are the wounds of a friend. Faithful are the wounds of a friend, and a true friend is someone who can speak that word. Speak that word. And maybe that's, that's the other thing that we can look at this morning. Say, is there a scenario where I've kept silent, where if I was a true friend, maybe I would have spoken up and said, you know, this might be a hard conversation, but I had to try to help, help my friend, help this person, see the... See the, the, the path they're, they're going down or the, the, the way that they handled that situation uh, wasn't what's best for them or what's best in general. And so this morning, I want you to know that God loves you. God has a plan for your life and the Holy Spirit is speaking and will continue to speak to you. And that includes sharpening, aligning, realigning our hearts, our minds, and even telling us hard truths, amen, and, and checking our hearts with, his, with the conviction, his conviction, to let us know maybe we, we need realigned in our thought process, realigned, we, and we need set free maybe from, from defensiveness due to old wounds, from thoughts that captivate us, that make us respond in a way that's not, that's not the way that God wants us to respond. Or that prompts us to, hey, you need to speak up into that situation and be a friend who's going, who's going to maybe cause some friction, but speak into a situation, speak into a life, and make a difference, and be a true friend, just as the Holy Spirit's a true friend to us, just as Jesus is a true friend to us, who never leaves us nor forsakes us. He walks with us. And... And he sharpens us for, and, and takes us from glory to glory. Amen. Amen. Well, dear Lord, I thank you for this morning. I pray that this message would go out 
and reach the right ears, Father. Lord, that you would speak to each and every heart, Father, that, that if they know someone who's in a situation uh, that, that's harmful or, or dangerous or just not what you have for them, maybe they're in a situation where they're responding out, out of the wrong uh, heart or, or from the, the wrong sight, Father, that, that you would speak to us and let us know when to speak up, when to be silent, Father. And Lord, that you would help us to hear your voice and to know who our true friends are and, and to know you and your voice as the voice of the Holy Spirit when you come and confirm the word, Father, and that we would be pliable, moldable by you, not, not by the culture around us, but by you and only you. And we thank you for it. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Well, God bless you. Thank you so much for watching. And hopefully I'll see you tonight at Alabaster House. You are calling me again. I hear your voice upon the wind. In the quiet in the still heaven. Glory written in the sky. In the turning of the scenes. to be